That New York style of play is just all about, you know, swag, flash, having that confidence. He is the greatest winner out of all of the point guards. Kareem Reed, born August 27th, 1975. Today's feature is considered one of the point guards of New York City basketball. He's a hardwood and streetball legend that competed against the likes of Stefan Marbury and Ray for Alston and held his own enough to be considered one of the top point guards in the country leaving high school. At the end of the year, he was a McDonald's All-American and expected to one day star in the NBA. But that dream never came true. He watched his contemporaries all make the NBA at some point while he became a globetrotter, literally playing in leagues all over the world with one foot close to an NBA door opening as time passed him by and those doors were closed. Back in the 90s, New York City basketball was at its peak. New York is often referred to as the mecca of basketball and this era is a huge reason why. One thing it was always known for, it's its dynamic point guard play that sometimes gets called overrated and only good for oohs and ahs with too much of a playground flair to be successful on a pro level. But because the name of the game is still entertainment, at the end of the day, New York point guards have and will always have one of the best shots at garnering enough attention to give them at least a shot. There's been documentaries of New York point guards since the beginning and you hear the same familiar names over and over like Bob Cousy, Nate Archibald, Marbury, Kenny Anderson, Ray for Alston, Rod Strickland, Mark Jackson, Kemba Walker, Sebastian Telfair and the list goes on. But one name rarely spoken on ironically is the best kept secret, Kareem Reed. The left-handed heart of a lion that gave point guards of his era trouble in high school and in college at 5'11", but closer to 5'9", if you ask me. He left college as his program's all-time leader in assists and third all-time in steals that still stand to this day. But the NBA never came calling. The NBA ain't for everyone. Unfortunately, heart is not a stat yet measured in professional sports, so for guys like Kareem Reed that bear that as their shining attribute, gaining interest from an organization to pay you millions of dollars is a shot in the dark that many players miss and never get that opportunity again. By all accounts of his pairs, Kareem Reed was good enough to play with anyone. But to the NBA, he had a few issues standing in his way that he couldn't see over and missed his shot in the dark by inches. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth. Let's get it. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. You can also send a super thanks by clicking the button below. Enjoy the video. Kareem Reed was born in Harlem Hospital, New York City, but moved to the Bronx, New York at an early age. His mother saw the name Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on a magazine and knew the fit was right. He may have been small, but standing on his will to win and competitive nature, he and Abdul-Jabbar were eye to eye. Reed has always had a knack for winning as well. As a freshman at St. Nicholas High School, he led his JV team to a city championship before the school closed down and he moved to St. Raymond's because of all the major players from his team heading to powerhouses outside the Bronx. He won the state championship as a junior in 93 and a city championship as a senior, averaging 24 points a game and becoming a McDonald's All-American. He also defeated Stefan Marbury and Felipe Lopez in the 93 Golden Hoops Championship game with pre-rapper Cameron looking on who was also one of the city's best guards before he turned to the streets. Stunt number one, size will always matter. Certainly in basketball. Unfortunately for Kareem, basketball is one of the many sports man has created where how tall you are makes things a lot easier for your chances and gives some genetically inclined an advantage over those who weren't so lucky. 
size could literally be the only reason Kareem Reed didn't even receive a cup of coffee in the NBA, even after he was one of the leaders on his team as a freshman in scoring and one of the best assist men in the NCAA his freshman year. He led them to a Sweet 16 and was an all-conference freshman. As a sophomore, he helped the Razorbacks to the NIT Final Four and never averaged less than five assists for his career. Like mentioned, he finished as the school's all-time leader in assists and top three in steals and many thought that would give him a brighter shot at his NBA chances. He averaged 10 points and almost 9 assists at the pre-draft camp, but still the 1999 NBA draft came and went without him hearing his name called. He felt it killed his spirit, but it didn't stop him from dreaming. The most obvious reason he wasn't selected was because he was just too short to compete at the NBA level, so was the thinking of GMs that passed on him. For any player that isn't blessed to be the perfect size for a position on that level, understand that it doesn't mean you shouldn't always work like you will be chosen. As the saying goes, hard work beats talent. It also puts up a good fight against lack of size. But in the case of Kareem Reed, the NBA couldn't see past he would be a liability on defense and also because at that size, you have to have a certain play style and Reed didn't have that. Stunt number two, a certain play style. That style for Kareem meant a diminutive point guard blessed to be elite at at least something. Earl Boykins wasn't the tallest guard. In fact, he's five centimeters from being the shortest player ever, but played 13 seasons in the league, once averaging 15 a game for Denver. Muggsy Bogues, who beat out Earl for the lack of height record, wasn't a stellar shooter or scorer, but his passing and defense were among the best in the league in his prime. Spud Webb, Nate Robinson, Isaiah Thomas all broke the size barrier and played long NBA careers, breaking records in the process and almost backing up the Brinks truck. I mean, my time's coming. They know they got to bring the Brinks truck out. They know that. But Kareem just didn't have that standout characteristic in his game. So if he wasn't lighting up the scoreboard or leading amateur leagues in assists, it would be hard for a team to risk taking him at that size as he becomes comes outmatched on the NBA level. He wasn't the best finisher, deep shooter, nor most athletic. He was a solid floor general in college and seen as being less than that when the level was at the best. He made his name off the heart he had to always compete with taller guards and that's cute when no one's being paid. But like any walk of life, when money is involved and there's multiple choices, not many will choose the little engine that could, but maybe won't at the highest level. Stunt number three, not an NBA level point guard. The toughest thing for any person to hear is they're not good enough to do something. When they've spent their entire life focusing on that thing makes it even harder. I too had to hear that even though words weren't used and it didn't set in until later when it was clear. Kareem Reed, after going undrafted, then went on to play for the IBL, Turkey, the Harlem Globetrotters, the CBA, USBL, D-League, ABA and more, still waiting to get that call that led to an NBA start. He's had tryouts with the Pacers and other close opportunities that all fell through before he could see his dream come true. He will now have to settle for being known as one of the best to ever do it in New York City, which is an infamous title to have, but I'm sure he'd trade to say he played at least one game in the NBA. He once said, in the past, they said it was my size, but I think my heart overrules that. Unfortunately, in sports, self-bias doesn't overrule the reasons above. All in all, Kareem Reed still lived a basketball life many never get the chance to where he's from. He made a name for himself in the sport that documentaries are made of and history will continue to salute. But for these reasons, his growth was stunted. Chipoy JC stunted growth and I'm out.